Okay, so I really wanted to tell you that since I've been delivered on my own, my own self-deliverance and being back to my spiritual awakening self, I know that these entities or demonic spirits don't like the Holy Spirit around us. I know they want to mock us somehow and play games and try to like get into us and use peoples and tactics to get into us. I know that these spirits don't like the word of God. I've been in the haunted house from my sister's house recently, not too long, a few days ago. And yeah, I've been fighting that spirit for the whole entire night. It's like a war zone. Like you don't sleep. You don't get to sleep. You're casting it out in your eyes and closing your eyes and casting it out and rebuking it out and binding that spirit out every minute until you put on a repellent video and playing it while you're casting both things out. And then, yeah, um, it, 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 was, it was a hard process of battle, but um, I managed to get like 80% of the spirits that were evil out of the house. And it took like the whole entire night with the praying spells before the priest came and did like another 50% of the work on it as well. And yeah, it is amazing that the, the, the presence is gone a bit, but then it's still there, you know, like I, I believe that the spirit right now is trying to mock me as well while I was with the priest before that time. But then I know that um I have like weird, strange awakening spirits telling me that I need to like do what I gotta do for God. And right now I'm trying to heal people. I'm trying to heal like my partner, which is temporarily here because I'm, I, I, I believe that um, partners and souls right now are just temporarily to me because I don't believe in that kind of thing. My only true relationship is with my father and the sky and Jesus and my mother up there as well. Nothing else except for them and the Holy Spirit. And that's all I know. I, I believe that I, I have to work really hard to get up there. And right now I need to heal people. And that's my work is to give people the word of God. So um, I know... It's not easy, but um, I, I believe that there's more to it. Like when you have the Holy Spirit in your body and you know what to do, especially casting out. Because the job of our job right now, when we are delivered and we became one of the the um, the blessing ones, you can say, which is the Christians, which you normally call them. Um, when, when, once you're delivered, your job is to cast them out and fight them all day, nonstop. When they come in and out, you just have to do it like... It's just, it's just a job, you know, like your job is to like cast me out with a name and never be afraid of it. That's your job to the end. It's like being on salvation and just like fighting for the war of the spiritual warfare just to um, get them out. Because everywhere you go now, you hear surrounding sounds, everything. And it's strange when you cast them out in your head and then you, people see like you yawning and coughing out of nowhere weirdly. Or doing something it's like because something is from their side coming to your side it's really weird they like to channel energies into you and they can like really like that split second when you're thinking something they can just kind of channel into your body right there that's where you have to know like when they're striking you so you can cast them out it's very strange they, they have opportunities to do it and then they sometimes like try to do it deliberately without you knowing and trying to see if you don't be aware of it if you do know that you're aware of it been casted out with the name of Jesus that's all I can say the word of God is very powerful so <clears throat> like I said it's very powerful use it to your advantage because when I pray I pray in my authority ways of words I don't speak very like softly I speak very viciously to them to get them out because the word of God is very powerful and it gives enough vibe so yeah so I hope you guys enjoy what I have to say here and I know that there's more to it but um thank you for even acknowledging the Holy Spirit in me telling you